Okay, let's say that I want to go in the opposite direction. And instead of given the function and finding the factors or the zeros, I'm given the zeros. And I want to determine the um, polynomial. So let's say the zeros are, um, I don't know, let's say negative 3. And then I have one complex 0, 2 plus 5i. Okay, and the degree of this polynomial is a third degree. Now, there are only two zeros here. And I should have three zeros for a th third degree polynomial. But what you need to know and what you should remember always is that complex zeros always come in pairs. Complex zeros always come in pairs. Uh, let me write that. Complex zeros always come in pairs. And those pairs are called conjugates. They come in, let me actually write, they come in conjugate pairs conjugate pairs okay which means that if 2 plus 5i is a 0 its conjugate is 2 minus 5i and, and that's also a 0 so anytime you're given one complex 0 you automatically know another one okay automatically which is the conjugate of whatever you're given so I was given the 0, negative 3, and 2 plus 5i automatically because this is a complex 0. 2 minus 5i is also a 0. And now I have three zeros for my third degree polynomial. So um, how do I write this out? So the factors. x plus 3 is one factor. x minus this complex 0 here. 2 plus 5i is another factor. And x minus 2 minus 5i is another factor. This is my function in factored form, technically. But if I don't want it in factored form, I have to multiply this out. So based on the zeros, I got my three factors, but this is the factored form of the function such that these zeros are true. But if I want it in non-factored form, in polynomial form, I have to multiply this out. So what I'm going to multiply out first are these two um, complex uh, factors. Let me start there. So x minus 2, what was it, plus 5i, I think, and then x minus, I'll double check, 2 minus 5i. x, yeah, 2 plus 5i, 2 minus 5i. So <clears throat> the way that you approach this is if it's FOIL, a binomial times a binomial. So um, here we go, first. Multiply first. x times x is x squared. That's an easy one. Outer, x times this whole thing here, and I'm just going to write it like that, minus x times 2 minus 5i. I'll deal with distribution later. So this times this whole thing is my outer. Inner, this times this, minus x times 2 plus 5i. I'll deal with distribution later. This times this is my inner. And then last, negative times a negative is positive, 2 plus 5i times 2 minus 5i. I'll simplify after. And after you deal with all of this, you should get a quadratic with no i's. So you'll see what happens. It simplifies nicely. So I foiled this such that this is my first term and this whole thing is my second, and this is my first term here, and this whole thing is my second term here. Now I'll deal with distribution where this negative will distribute. Minus 2x plus 5ix. Distribute this minus 2x minus 5ix and another foil here first 4 outer minus 10i inner plus 10i and last minus 25i squared so <laughs> it looks way worse than it is you'll see all the i terms go and you know that i squared is negative 1 so this all simplifies just into x squared minus 2x minus 2x minus 4x and then I'm going to show this plus 4 and then this becomes a plus 25 because the i squared is negative 1 x squared minus 4x plus 29 is my um, quadratic such that these are my zeros if I were to do the quadratic formula I would get 2 plus 5i and 2 minus 5i when I simplify but I'm not done, because it's supposed to be a third degree polynomial. All I did was multiply this stuff out. So now I have to take that and multiply it by x plus 3. So now x plus 3 
times x squared minus 4x plus 29. And every single term here gets multiplied by every single term here, so I'll distribute the x first. x to the third minus 4x squared plus 29x. And then distribute the 3 next, plus 3x squared minus 12x. 29 times 3 is 87, so plus 87. Combine like terms, x to the third, so uh, minus 4x squared plus 3x squared is minus x squared. Um, positive 29x minus 12x is positive 17x, and then plus 87 is my final function in polynomial form such that negative 3 is a 0 and 2 plus 5i and 2 minus 5i are um, complex zeros.